Can Jamaica's Akira Nugent win Olympic gold in 2024? Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, let me say thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Now go ahead, please hit that subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, go in and hit the notification bell so you know when the next amazing video drops. And we do that once a day, every day here on Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy our content, please hit that like button. The algorithms on YouTube absolutely love the engagement. So, and it's free if you hit the like button, so hit the like button. And finally, please leave a comment. We would love to know your thoughts on whether or not Akira Nugent can win gold at the 2024 Olympic Games. Are you ready? Yep. Good to go. Truth is, we wanted to ask if Akira Nugent could actually win gold in 2022 at the World Championships. But uh, I think that's unlikely. Akira Nugent was born on the 29th of April 2002. The Jamaican athlete specializes in sprinting. She is the 2021 World Athletics Under 20 champion in the 100 meter hurdles. Nugent is in truth an overachiever. A quick young lady on the 100 meters, her personal best is 11.09, which she ran in May of this year, 2021, at the NCAA Preliminary West Round. Nugent currently holds the under-20 world record in the 60-meter hurdles and the under-18 world um, record in the 100 meter hurdles as well as what I just mentioned the under 20 uh, 100 meter hurdles here she is running that quick 100 meters 11.19 flash time that 100 meter is um, BU Baylor's uh, University's um, record in the 100 meter the 11.09 as a freshman and she also holds the 60 meter record at uh, BU uh, in the 60 meter hurdles that is at BU in her age group so we're talking about an exceptional athlete out of Jamaica who we've done a vlog on before here at Peter Lloyd World but in looking at her I realized that she's just an exceptional talent this 19 year old I mean, at 19 to hold so many records is remarkable. Uh, here she is um, representing Excelsior High School in Jamaica in 2019, which is her alma mater. And she then ran, this was February, February 2019, she ran the world's best 100 meter hurdles time of 12.89. She would have been 17 years of age at this time. Just watch. People just look at this. She's, she's running against herself. She's running against the clock. Sheer dominance. Um, 17 years of age, and at that time, that was the world's fastest time in her age group. I mean, this is a tremendous, that, that rare specimen of talent that you see once in a century. Akira Nugent is special, and that's why I proposed, I posed the question. Can she actually win a gold medal in olympics in the olympic games in 2024 which is not far away that's three years from now by that time she'd be what uh 22 roughly 22 years of age she's 19 now i think let's keep talking so in the women's 60 meter hurdles at the 2021 ncaa indoor championships uh, as a freshman for BU she um, surprised many uh, to win the track and field championships in Arkansas running uh, 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 an astounding time of 7.91 I think it was rounded out to again dominant run dominant win watch you know I can't show you the entire race right because of copyright but class of the field, class of the field. Um, 
as I stated, this was a surprise to many. So we're looking at a young lady who has is just dominant. I mean, if you have the 60 meter, 100 meter um, hurdles records from under 20 uh, to uh, under, under 16, I think, this is an exceptional, this is the exceptional type of talent. <clears throat> and I really have been looking back at the 2021 season, looking at the athletes that I think in future, especially the younger athletes who will excel. Uh, at the NCAA championships in 2021, she runs 12.84 in 100 meter hurdles. This is her running in this race. Again, dominant. Great race, 12.84. She established herself as the NCAA champion. Um, she's that rare type of talent. Um, quick between the hurdles. Amazing technique. You can see it here. That's why I slowed it down. Exceptional talent. And turns upon the big stage, like I said, so she has that psychological edge. She's used to winning. And um, never panics. She's always calm, no matter what's happening around her. Because in hurdles, that's an important element. You need to be able to stay focused on what you are doing, especially when people are clattering and falling all around you. And it is evident to me that she is consistent in terms of her growth or uh, evolution. And she's already the world's best, you know. Um, she won the finals of the World Under-20 Athletics Championship in Nairobi, Kenya, early this year. Again, another dominant. You see this? Dominant performance. Easing up at the line. Her winning time was 12.95. So we're looking at the kind of talent that is extremely mature for her 19 years of age. She is a winner. She's consistent. She improves constantly. She's focused. She turns up on the big occasions. She doesn't get rattled easily. But she's going to be competing with people like, she has to go to people like Kamacha Queen, uh, Harrison, and of course, Tapa uh, out of Jamaica. And those people are still, this is the finals of the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. You can see here, Tapa came third, Harrison second, and of course, Kamacha Quinn first. These are exceptionally fast and talented people. And I just wanted to, to put it out there because the truth is, she is, and I should also men mention Jamaica's own um, Anderson, who I think is also talented. So what do you all think? Do you think that this young lady who has developed consistently, who currently holds three um, world under 20, under 18 uh, records, she is evolving constantly. She's obviously very quick. Um, at 19, 11.09 is a fast time. It means that uh, if she remains healthy and she's consistent, she can eventually break that, that mystical 11 second barrier that all female 100 meter sprinters would like to break. She's She's got great technique. Now, is she uh, as good as a Camacho Queen? Let's talk. I believe Camacho, Camacho Queen's um, personal best in the women's 100 meter hurdles is 12.26. Harrison, of course, is even faster. Harrison from the United States is the world record holder and the world record time is made. It's 12.20. Um, by Kendra Harrison, of course. So 12.26, 12.20. Uh, at 19, Nugent's personal best in the 100 meter hurdles is, is 12.76, which she ran early this year in Texas, I think at the Cushion Stadium. Uh, yeah, it might have been in May of this year. Uh, but I know, I know that, 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 that everything else I said is correct. 12.76 and of course the world record holder it's 12.20 uh quinn is 12.26 tapas best i think is 12.51 uh, or something like that i'm guessing now 
now there is a good chunk of space between 12 point uh i think i said 12.76 and 12.20 but let's look at the the obvious facts new gent is much younger she's 18 she's 19 she's consistently improving i don't know if any injury issues she has she seems to have a very good relationship with her coaching staff there at bu she has been winning consistently she's uh she kind of reminds me of a, of a tina clayton she's constantly winning she's used to it she's very composed if you watch the races go back and look at the races she's always very very composed the other thing i need to say to you is and i've said this to you several times when it comes to um hurdles hurdles is about technique speed and what's happening on that day it really is about what's happening on that day if she continues to improve at the way the rate at which she's improving so let us say she comes in a hundred percent on point or and queen or uh a tapa or um anderson or definitely a hundred uh, kendra harris harrison is just slightly off in three years time could she win a gold medal yeah it, it just depends on if we can if the speed improve sufficiently so if we can round her down to even a 10.5 sorry not a 10.5 a 12.5 forgive me there is a, a great possibility that she can medal i think she's only going to improve all the indicators are this is one to watch uh i want i'm going to be doing some of that towards towards the end of this year the year is almost finished and i wanted to talk about some athletes who i think are exceptional young athletes not the very established not the super established but I think Akira Newton Nugent is one to watch. I really believe this young lady in 2024, if all goes well, can win gold. I genuinely think she can get down to the 12.3s. The based on her progress so far, her health, her confidence, her, st uh, her, her state of mind, the way she's improving, I genuinely think this young lady who has all these records can definitely get down to a 12, uh, 12.3, 12 a 12.7, 12 12.8. This is just my opinion, personally. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button, uh, brothers and sisters, kings and queens. When you hit the subscribe button, go in and hit the notification bell so you get the next amazing video that drops. And we do one once a day, every day here, here on Peter Lloyd World. I'm going to tell you what the schedule is going to be like for the rest of the year because I'm, I'm going to be a little busy doing a few other things. But not to worry, the videos will be coming out. I also need to say, as of doing this video today, um, today being the 19th of December 2021, we just hit 10 thousand subscriptions and i just want to say thank you all i have something special lined up for this but uh because of the time of year that is happening i might push it back into january but you you guys are gonna love this it's just my way of saying thank you to all of you let's grow now to twenty thousand. let's let's aim for twenty thousand subscriptions um if you enjoy the video please hit that like button the algorithms on youtube absolutely love the engagement plus there's no more dislike button and we need that engagement to get the videos out so please hit that like button and it's free if you hit the like button people also leave a comment i really want to know what you think uh noted i didn't say if she'll be winning gold at the world championships in 2022 but i genuinely believe she has a huge chance of doing this she's just 19 She's already running 12.76 uh, in the women's 100 meter hurdles. She has a 60 meter um, and 100 meter hurdles um, on the 20 and on the 18 world record. She is, she's just composed, remarkable, doesn't get flustered, turns upon the big occasions. Akira Nugent is that rare find people. Of course, this is just my opinion and you all are very learned and sometimes you teach me. What do you think? Do you think I'm being overly optimistic? Do you think a young lady who at 19 is running, has all these records, is consistently improving, and has her PB right now is at 12.76 in the women's 100 meter hurdles? Can she get down to the 12.3, 12.4 for, uh, you know, it, 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 in case there's no, just, you know, no injury, no issues, she just progresses? Uh, on the path that she's been going for the last three to four years? What do you think? I want to hear your thoughts. Thank you again for giving us 10,000 subs.
I truly is a big deal. It means a lot to me. Thank you for your support, for, for coming back repeatedly over and over, and for making suggestions about videos that you want to see. If you notice, I've been trying to do them. Um, beloved Olano, your kings and your queens, avoid negative people. Please avoid them. Um, remain positive in even the worst of times. And as always, bless up. <laughs>